Hey, so this week we're hanging out with a bunch of teenagers in southern Brazil, way down by Porto Alegre. We're going to three different schools in three different areas that are all very different, and we're going to share American culture with these kids. Now we've been asked to come and just share all about what our life is like in America from food and religion and sports and music and everything else. And we're just answering questions about what it's like to be an American. We started out our journey in Pinto Banderas, a small town in the mountains about two hours from Porto Alegre, which is the largest city in southern Brazil. Pinto Banderas almost looks like a picturesque mountainscape-like town that you might see in The Sound of Music, and it actually shares a lot of the same kinds of architecture. The thing that really set this place apart, though, was the absolute joy of all the kids we got to meet. Being that they were all from a small town, they treated all the visiting Americans like a perfect mix between celebrities and aliens from another world. As we sang and danced with them, they especially took to my kids who were having the time of their lives getting to hang out with people from such a different culture. And speaking of different culture, as a gift back to us, the older teens did a couple of traditional Brazilian dances that were unlike anything I've ever experienced before. Pinto Banderas was a truly incredible place. From our point of view, it's really fun to get to hang out with all these teenagers and just experience their culture because we're hanging out in Brazil for a couple weeks and we're getting to see it all, but really getting into a school and getting to meet some of these kids, like that kind of changes everything. And a lot of these kids we've talked to have never been to another country. A lot of them have never even been to another city. So to meet people from outside of that and be able to come in is just a really awesome experience and we love to be able to give them that. A few days later, we headed to Bento Gonzalves, which is a bit of a larger town, and we ended up speaking to another few hundred students about what life is like in the top half of the globe. As we all piled into the cramped auditorium, our team talked about food, sports, religion, and music in America, and just spent good quality time loving the kids that we met and making lifelong friends. The thing that stuck out about Bento Gonzalves is the incredible curiosity of the students. A few of us Americans also got to speak in a small classroom setting and do a Q&A session, and the questions were incredible. Like everything from what high schools are like in the US to the war in Ukraine, and we even talked about international economics and oil pipeline agreements. I, I really think I actually learned more than they did. So we really love to get to just explain to these guys what like all of our culture is about, but I think the number one thing that we really want to get across is just the love of God for us. The church here is very different and is very oppressive and it just doesn't come across the same way, but getting to see that we serve a God that just really truly loves them changes everything. And it's such a cool thing just to get to share hope and love and joy with these kids and just getting to kind of help them disconnect from their lives for a little bit and really just see the whole world in a new way. Lastly, a few days after that, we got to hang out with a ton of awesome kids in a city called Caxias de Sul. When we went into this school, we were asked to speak to a single classroom of kids, but when they saw how much room was left in the room, they filled it with a whole nother classroom worth of kids. Before we knew it, hours had gone by and we had spoken to the entire school, hundreds and hundreds of kids and teenagers hungry for someone else in the world to care about them. And that's exactly what happened. Through our awesome translator, we were able to not only tell them how much we cared about them, but we got to give them American candies called Jolly Ranchers, which were a total hit, along with guitar picks, little wooden crosses, and even baseball cards. Small mementos to remind them of the strange Americans from a distant land who care deeply about who they are, and making sure they know that the God of the universe knows their name, loves them deeply, and even sacrificed his life for them. We also got to play a ton of fuji ball with kids who spanked us with very little effort. And we played a giant group game of Skip It. And I think my daughters might have actually become Instagram famous in Brazil. I'm, I'm not sure how I feel about that. They're what? <laughs> They're such obsessed with us. So yeah, that happened. Hanging out with these guys all week has been such a cool thing. Seeing Pinto Bandera, seeing Caxias de Sul, seeing Bento Gonzalves, three very different schools with very different people of all different income levels. Most of these guys are leaving right now and they're going to work and a lot of them are like 13, 14 years old. Um, it's been an eye-opening experience for us too, just to get to see the different cultures and what they have to deal with versus what we would deal with. How we go to school for like eight hours a day 
and most of them go to school for like three or four hours a day. And I'm so incredibly thankful for what I grew up in, um, but at the same time, I'm seeing things that they've got that we didn't get. And from the beginning of our lives, we're put into this like hardcore work culture where you have to achieve, you have to make things, you have to just go, go, go. And the carefree attitude that a lot of these guys are living with is just such an inspiring thing to me. Um, it's really cool just to see the way that they're coming at life and playing fuchi ball or soccer or football out here. Uh, it's just really cool just to get to be a part of this. So thank you for watching this. If you've liked this, like and subscribe. Um, I just love getting out of our culture and seeing something totally different. Hope you do too. Get out of your norm, see something different, experience the world.